Hello, and thank you for clicking on my YouTube video. My name is Courtney, or you can call me Coco. I do videos on fashion, travel, and lifestyle, mainly fashion these days. And today, I am bringing to you a swimsuit, a swimsuit, a swimsuit haul. So specifically from the Matte Collection brand. So I've seen this brand a lot all over my Instagram. The ads are everywhere. So I decided, you know what? Let me pick up several pieces, give them a shot show you what they look like um, someone like me so just in case you came across these ads as frequently as I do maybe you want to see how they look before you purchase I got you girl I got you so without further ado I'm gonna get right on into this video um, if you are new here thank you for coming by if you're not new here you already know the spiel um, I'm going to I'll talk about the clothes hold it up and then I'm gonna step to the side and you can see me walk in and out trying on the look so that way you can hear what I have to say about it, whether it's like the fit, the material, etc. And you can see for yourself on this side, so it'll be a split screen. And as usual, I'm wearing jewelry from my brand. I have a jewelry line at CocoMadeWithLove.com where I sell handmade jewelry made with the, the <laughs> made with the sensitive skin customer in mind, like myself. I have eczema. You can see a little bit on my neck, but I have a lot of it everywhere else. Um, so I make most of my jewelry out of gold fill, so that way it's less irritating to the skin than other metals. So that's my little non-shameless plug. Um, I'm wearing this really, really, really old crop top. I don't even know where I got it from. And let me just back up <laughs> and show you. These zebra pants, they were very popular, I want to say earlier this year, from Zara, no, not from Zara, from H&M. So they're just, you know, easy, quick little outfit. So that's what I'm wearing. And now we can get on into what you're really here for, the swimsuits. Oh, before I try them on, so about these swimsuits, I actually bought them in two sizes, large and extra large, because in swimwear, I'm always in between sizes, like my bottom half, Usually it's an extra large. The top is a large, but as you know, with one pieces or some bathing suits that are bikinis, but they come together, you have to pick one or the other. Some are cut smaller, some are cut larger. I had no idea what size I was, so I got the large and the extra large, and we'll see which one fits the best. So for reference, I am 5'6". I'm about 185, 180 pounds. Um, I usually wear a size 8 or 10 at the top, size 12 at the bottom. So if you have similar measurements to myself, or if you're different, you could just like, you know, gauge based off of what I show you. So now, let's get into this video. Alrighty, so for MAC collection, I did get a, a combination of swimsuits and cover-ups. So they had a lot of cute cover-ups to match swimsuits. They have like the long kimono style, they have maxi and mini fitted dresses which I'll show you in a second and let's see the other style of cover up were these cute pants that matches the bikinis but I'm not gonna lie I wasn't really feeling the pants with the string bikinis for myself right now because I haven't been working out <laughs> so I stuck with mainly one pieces I did get one bikini but we'll get into that so the first piece up is this beautiful number here Let me show you out here I got this one in the size large, so it's this beautiful, as you can see, purple pattern with, let me just show you a little closer, purple pattern with like um, teal blue. It's washing out on camera, but the blue is a lot darker and richer in person with some like black spots. It's kind of like a tie-dye or watercolor print, if you will. Don't really know what to call it. I just know that it's cute. And what I really liked about this swimsuit is one, the fact that it's a real, like it's a padded or lined, I should say. It's more so lined with a little bit of lift in it. Uh, one piece, so I could wear it obviously as a bathing suit and walking around, it could be like my top. So if I put this on with like, I have lavender wide leg pants from Zara and burnt orange color, they both go with this set. So this could be an actual outfit in the day. And then once I get to some water, I can pop this on. So I really love the versatility of this. The side has some ruching, which is great. Um, just to, if you just need a little bit extra stretch on the side, it could be a little flattering. The back is an interesting cut. It's, so it doesn't really cover my whole cheeks. 
but it's also not a thong so I do appreciate that so it's like a little cheeky a little cute and sexy but not too much so I really like that and honestly they have a lot of bathing suits in this cut with just different prints and some solid colors so again I got this in a large and I feel like this size fits me so this swimsuit I am keeping I am keeping this um, and yeah I love it there's not much more I can say about it it's cute has adjustable straps could be worn as a top too and it's cheeky but not too cheeky where it's thong so this one I recommend the next piece up is a similar cut swimsuit but I actually got it in an extra large just because I wanted to see which size in this cut fits me better as you can see the bathing suits and cover-ups come in this plastic baggie that says matte swim so even though it's a, like, it's a lot of plastic, it's not single-use plastic, so you can use this over and over again when you're traveling. You can pack it in your suitcase like this. Um, and if you're packing things to come back home and it's still a little wet, you can pack them up in these little baggies. There's no holes in the bags. Oh, yes, there is. There's a little bit of a hole in the bag. <laughs> but you can pack it up and bring it back without ruining the rest of your stuff. So, and it's like a Ziploc, so I appreciate that. So I'm going to definitely keep those bags and keep reusing them because I don't really like, you know, single-use plastics. So I'm going to keep using them. So here it is in the size extra large. I think the print is so cute. I really do like it. It's like this foresty green with a beige design. I won't even, I won't even guess what, the design is, what this design is called. It's just really, really cute. Um, but unfortunately, this one is too large, so... It's too much space in the boob area. I do not have enough to fill this. And around this side, there's just a lot of space underneath my arm. And in the back, because it's such a lot of fabric, the way it pulls, it's like there's a lot of air back there. So it adds like this much more space to my back. It makes me look wider when I wear it because it just it doesn't fit close to my body. It pulls away from the body. So. You'll see if I have it tried on over there to the side. So I'm going to return this one, even though I love this print. I really do love this print. It is just not flattering. The size is not flattering on me. So, in conclusion, the large is my size in this cut from this brand. And sticking with this pattern and colorway... I did get the matching cover-up. I thought it was so cute how they had these fitted maxi and mini dresses to go with some of the swimwear. So I got the maxi sleeveless, high neck sleeveless version. It's very long, so if I stretch it all the way, it does pretty much go to the floor. Again, I'm 5'6", so I love that about this. Um, I got this one in a size I don't know I think I got this in a size extra large because I think I want to see which one would fit better either a large or an extra large hold on let me let me figure this out all right I'm gonna say extra large yeah cuz I have something that's a large and this fits just a little bit bigger so I got the green to match to wear over the other green bathing suit. I thought it would be such a cute look heading to the beach or pool. It's like, you know, a cute, sexy little dress, but it has a matching bathing suit underneath. Well, in my case, it won't because I'm returning the bathing suit. But I think also if I use a different bathing suit underneath this, like a dark brown or a different green bikini or something, earth tone, I think this will work just well with that as well. So I'm going to keep this. I think it's very cute. I can maybe even find a way to style it up with some jeans or something in the future. Who knows? And then, on the note of cover-ups, it's the same pattern and print, but in a brown and beige and mini version. So this one has like a little, get a little closer, drawstring at the side, just one side so you can like have a slit. I'll pop up a picture or video of me wearing it. In a moment um, this one is very mini but and I got this one in a large but it's so cute so I bought this with a solid 
chocolate brown bathing suit, the same cut as the other one pieces I previously showed you. But then I got an email saying they're refunding me for it because they actually don't have it in stock. So I was sad about that, but that's all right. I can wear this with other things. I have plenty of like orange bathing suits and other colors I could pop on with this. The only thing when I wear this, it rides right up. So it reminds me of like those mini dresses that I used to wear back in the day, how you always have to be walking or tugging the side because it's like riding up as you walk. That's what this does. So like I'll take a few steps, large steps, and say you know you're walking on the sand so you're putting a little more effort into your walk. This thing goes all the way up where like my cheeks are hanging out. So luckily I'm in a bathing suit so that's fine. But yeah, this is definitely more of a sexy number because it doesn't stay down as a dress. It rides up like a long tank top. So keep that in mind if you have hips booty, thigh, or combination of the three, and when you walk, things tend to ride up, then this will ride up on you. So maybe size up, that might help, I'm thinking. Not too sure. So another thing in the earth tone department. So I've been seeing all these cute, you know, like thong bathing suits. I don't have any, but I wanted one. So I picked one up, and I figured this is a cute bathing suit. Um, the quality, I really like the quality and feel of it. So it's like ribbed and this nice green color has a nice finish to it. Also has a padding in the back that you could take out. So I really do like how it's made. Look at that. <laughs> But I don't like how it fits. I do not like how it fits. So the thong part, I guess, fits like a thong, but my stomach is not really in the right shape for this to look good. It looks real crazy on me. Um, so I'm sad about that, but the top, I don't know what was up with it. So it's not one of those bikinis where you tie it. It has like, or not even like a racer back back, but it just has something going on and it does not stay on properly when I try to wear it like a bra like it just lifts up at the top so it's like it's too big it's too loose in my boob but it also doesn't cover enough boob in the bottom it's just a mess it just doesn't look good <laughs> and then the straps in the back goes all the way up you know how like when you wear a bra and your bra is too small and too tight so the band of your bra goes all the way up the back that's what this is doing so it's not a flattering fit on me maybe for you if I don't know if you get the right size. I got this in a extra large because I figured these triangle bikinis sometimes are cut pretty small. But I think the extra large was just too loose for me and ill-fitting. So I'm probably not going to try this one on. Just because, again, I just looked crazy in it and you don't need to be seeing all my skin like that. But that's my little description about it. That's how I feel about it for me in my size. So I'm sad about that. I did want a thong bathing suit, so I'm going to have to just find another one that is a little bit more flattering for those without like a flat stomach. And then there's a bathing suit that I see all the time on their ads, and it's what really drew me in. And you know, I'm on the fence about it. So it's this bathing suit. It's an orange, and you know orange is a great, great, great color on brown skin but this is like a highlighter orange so you know it's still could it's still cute but there's just something about the fit so you see how it's like one half looks like it's a bikini I mean a triangle bikini but the rest is like a one piece so it's like asymmetrical love the concept super cute I love how bright and bold the color is I really wanted the yellow one but at the time of me buying it it was out of stock but of course a week if so afterwards it came back in stock but this loose boob part there's not enough support so it's like this side with the strap is well supported obviously because look at the thickness of the strap but the triangle part it's like they didn't make it to really match up so it's like one boob supported one is kind of droopy and just not well so then I adjusted it in the back because you could adjust the strap so I thought if I make it tighter it will lift the boob up so it's sitting pretty like its sister but then it's weird because then the, the back and the strap no longer go straight across your back. I'll try to turn around and show you over there. But it kind of like makes the strap go up so then it looks unflattering in the back. It's just, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. 
so I'm gonna have to give it back <laughs> unfortunately I'm really sad about this one I was hoping I can make it work figure out the situation with the straps but honestly the way it fits on my body and how the back looks weird if I tighten it I'm probably not gonna wear it so I don't want to waste my time or my money so I'm gonna give it back which makes me sad but I guess that is what it is right when you try on different things of different sizes oh I got this one in a size did I really get this in an extra large I guess so got it in a size extra large but honestly I don't think the large would have fit any better so that's that I'm really sad about this y'all this design is so cute but there I noticed their models they kind of shape like the fashion over models so you know like biggish boobs no, no, no waist. Small, tiny waist. And then hips for days. And booty for days. Little bit of thigh and legs. So, like, they're shaped very loud. Boom, boom, boom. So, the bathing suits all look like, wow, look at that. So, I knew I had to try them on for myself and see how each one fits for my body type. But let me know which ones you like, which ones you would get, which ones you would try. Yeah, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Let me know which one you think is a vibe, whether it's the shape of it or the pattern, what you like about it. Have you been seeing these MAC collection ads as often as I have? Because they have been popping up, honey. Like, I see them everywhere. I think I even see them on Pinterest. So it's like, they were taunting me. I just had to try it out. Um, but yeah, so my overall thoughts, would I buy from them again? Maybe. Maybe some other one pieces and other patterns. Definitely in the size large, not the extra large. Um, maybe if I'm looking for another bathing suit when I'm ready to wear like a small bikini again, I will give that a shot because I do like how it's made. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. Um, but I'm disappointed that I want to give so many of them back. I know some of it's because of sizing, but like that triangle boob thing that was going on, hopefully they fix that. But overall, I really do like the swimsuits. I like the quality. I like the material. It doesn't feel like, like it doesn't feel... Like I paid a thousand, like two hundred dollars for it, but it definitely doesn't feel like cheap, flimsy bathing suit. So it's a good quality for the price. I want to say they're probably around twenty-two to twenty-eight dollars, and then they always have coupons. So I think I got twenty percent off of all of them. Um, I would definitely also probably get like the long purple kimono matching prints um, cover up to go with the purple bathing suit I'm keeping because I think that would be a really cute look, and. There's another colorway of that same cut. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I remember I liked it. So I might do that. Get one of those in a size large. So overall, those are my thoughts of the matte collection swimwear. Let me know if you've bought from them, how you like them, or if you've seen them, you've wanted to, or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this is fun. Let me know what you think. I will see you in my next YouTube video. Have a great week, friend. Bye.